Apparently Kylie Jenner has admitted to having something called temporary lip fillers, which is confusing to me because why? I got food in the morning. Oh my god! <laughs> This is very interesting to me because all of these people are starting to feel real dumb, aren't they? People have always had a habit of copying each other and it brings us all the way back to caveman days. A caveman saw another caveman pick up a rock and use it to break open a coconut. And another caveman saw him and cyber bullied him on Twitter. In a clip released from the show, Khloe Kardashian stated, Kylie decided to plump her lips and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And people are upset because their lives are actually invested into some person they don't know. All of this is very interesting because right now we live in a time that's right in between the future and the past and a lot of scientists and philosophers refer to it as the present. Right now, I feel like so many things aren't real. We got virtual reality helmets that make you feel like you're somewhere else better than your real life because it's boring. And so many things we think are fake are actually real. I blame Jimmy Kimmel. When asked by a reporter why there's such a buzz behind her lips, she says, I have temporary lip fillers. It's just an insecurity of mine. That makes me so sad. We all have insecurities. It's like for just a second, we have to realize that the Kardashians and other celebrities are actually people. And maybe we as the normal folk are driving them to the decisions they make. It's like we're the fire spark in the inferno of the volcano that's villainized by society. Nah. If my mother heard about this story, she'd say, where her mama at? Also speaking of young people in the spotlight right now, you might be interested to hear about two parents who were arrested after they bribed their teens with cocaine and weed to do their chores. When I lived with my parents and they wanted me to do chores, I was like, yeah, mom, I'll empty the trash and I'll do it for zero cocaine. And cops never got involved once. I'm currently not a parent, but I do understand a few simple parenting rules. Like for instance, parenting rule number 37, don't put your baby in lava. Parenting rule number 43, don't let your kid watch Rush Limbaugh. It'll scare them. And parent Parenting rule number two, don't put your kids on drugs. They'll do it on their own anyway if you stop paying attention to them and you won't even go to jail for that, it's legal. The parents, Joey and Chad Mudd from Florida, of course, admitted to police that they often use drugs in their parenting of their daughters aged 13 and 15. When I was 13, I was looking at cartoons on DVDs on my laptop. Now I just stream them. When asked, the parents stated they chose to bribe them so they would do household chores and excel in school. I know a few things about drugs, not a lot. I'm no scientist, but I'm sure it's nearly impossible to read a page out of To Kill a Mockingbird after doing a line. Damn, Scout! So what do you guys think about all this? How would you bribe your kids to do stuff? Are you mad at Kylie's Jenner? Would you ride the cat bus? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm William Hayne. An Omaha, Nebraska woman who is suing all homosexuals everywhere on behalf of the plaintiffs, God and his son, Jesus. Babies! Everybody loves them! I actually think the story would have been so much better if Kate had given birth to a corgi puppy.